Hi, and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing Assessment Examination. Now, Assessment Examination seems to be along the same lines as the Mandela catalog, as well as the Maple County game that uh, we've played before. Crazy thing is, is that I think everybody here is going to be very kind looking. Um, everybody's going to be really nice, right? <laughs> everybody's going to be really nice. I've seen the faces. One of them might stand out as a threat. I don't know. We've seen enough that I feel like I feel like if something seems dangerous to us at this point after the back rooms and all that crap, I feel like at this point everything is just going to be seem mild. Everybody's going to be kind. Everybody's going to be nice. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe we're just screwed. Assessment examination is a game in which you will die. <laughs> Let the assessment assess the situation. Okay. The examination will now begin. Hello, friend. Thanks for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. No problem. All of us here at are very happy to have. What did you say? <laughs> that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario. But before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Who would we be? be Please take a sit and await further instructions. Word of mouth, newspapers, a dream, the internet. Um, I'm going to pick word of mouth. Was that the wrong choice? Do you have any professional experience in this area? Do you have any personal experience in this area? Do you fear death? No. No. Do you have people in do you <laughs> do you have people you love in your life? Absolutely. What the fuck is this thing? In a moment, we I have a fear. Uh, images of people, and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or threats you should. Hey, upside down, man. With your selections, our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on. They're just having a good time. They're just having a good time. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> Is Kiss getting a brand new member in their band? <laughs> Should we do, you know what? This guy's all right. There's nothing wrong with the little blend tool happening in real life, right? I trust him. Oh. You know, clearly at this point I trust this person. Why? Because if <laughs> if you've played Bloodborne or even Elden Ring, you know that those sliders are absolutely screwed up. And I'm used to seeing this every single time I play the game. So you know what? I trust them. Are her eyes red? I mean, she's, she seems, she seems mad. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe she's upset, you know, maybe, maybe her coffee wasn't right. Maybe she's waiting for something. Maybe you're late. Maybe I am late to whatever appointment I have with, maybe this, maybe this is 
my doctor and they're upset that I'm late. Maybe this is my professor and they're upset at something. I'm going to trust them. Oh. Colonel Sanders never took his glasses off, and now you know why. I immediately think of you as a threat. I don't know who you are and why you're looking at me like that, but if anybody looks at you like that, they're, <laughs> they're going to beat the, the herbs and spices out of you. Like, this is ridiculous. No, I'm a threat. Who are you? Okay. It's a tall... What the heck is this? Tall man? Like, tall man with teeth? Little family here? Is this a slide? This looks like a slide of here. Or these are trees, and this is like a family? Like, maybe sisters or mom and then two daughters, and then... I don't know. Well, no. Bro. I don't know. I told you guys, there's a lot of stuff in this game that's probably, I'm going to be like, you know what? It's just, you know, they're just out there having a good time. They're not bothering anybody. I trust them. Ooh. <laughs> no. No. Um. No. These eyes. These eyes. These are like. These are portals opening into hell. Are they getting progressively red? Like, or is that me imagining it? Okay, this is creeping me out. Okay, yeah, um, the eyes are unsettling. Nothing in this world is capable of doing this. Unless you, like, douse your eye with a bunch of those, like, drops that you get at the at the optometrist that, you know, whenever they're doing some sort of test with you, they open up your eye. <laughs> like, they, they pour that in there, and they expect for you to walk around in the mall or wherever you're at, and you're just sitting there taking in every single bit of light, and your eyes are just screaming. Yeah, I don't... Tr Maybe she did that. No, 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 no. Stop it. This is not... Uh, no, stop. It's okay. You can call them a threat. Dude is just hanging out. You know, he, I don't know. Cigarette, lollipop, I, or whatever. I, I don't know what this is. St like, stick. Just... Big old toothpick. I don't know. This is immediate trust. <laughs> They are taking it a step further. There is nothing here except for maybe slightly. But this just kind of reminds me of the movie Annihilation and seeing that alien inside of that. Uh, was it a lighthouse or something like that? Man, I got to go watch that movie again. Anyway, um, you're a threat. Abraham Wallace. Diazepam. Five milligram tablets. Three tablets by mouth that and three. I'm always interested in dates, but they just cut off the ear here. Okay. 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 Hey, you look like you paint. You look like you own an art shop or something. And the paint that you use is created by killing masses of people. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like if, you know, honestly, I feel like if it opened up the picture, we would see paintings. They may be, they may be painted in blood, but I think we can trust them. Okay. 
trust threat. I mean, there's I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent. Like, I feel like, you know, she's minding her own business. You know, she's clearly looking at something else right now. Not me, I think. I, I mean, I'm just going to say trust. No big deal. The lighting here really, really screws. <laughs> the lighting here really screws things. Like, I... I Yeah, the lighting here really, really screws with me. Right now, it's like it's like it's like she was following you, and she finally found you hiding inside of a barn in some random farm, and you're about to die. I don't think I can trust them. I don't think so. Just something about this is like their face is like, ha, I've got you. You're dead. This person's just fine. I don't see anything wrong with this. Nothing. What, she's got a bigger smile than most? Even better. Sure. Francisco Estrada, 19 years old, victim two. Police department, what is your emergency? Yeah, hi. I'm at Dore Park at a gas station, actually, in a corner of Dore Park. I think there's someone, somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside. He's got some blood on him. Is he hurt? I don't know. He looks fine. It's just he's outside and the door is locked. So I cannot tell. So I can't tell. He's asking for help though. So I don't know if you can hear, but he's asking me to help him. Okay. I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But this is going to sound like crazy to you. Just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. His face, you know. He had this look. It reminded me of something. I don't know what... Something I'm terrified of. Fuck, I don't know, man. But something's off about that kid. Like, real off. You're gonna let this kid bleed out because he feels off? No, that's not what I'm saying. He's not dying, I don't think. He just didn't look right, Al. Kid looked like he just died himself, but he hasn't, obviously. He looked like a ghost or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just fucked up right now. I've been drinking a little bit, but you had to see him. It's scary shit, officer. What the hell? You, what? Officer? He must be pale because of the blood loss. What was that? What? What was that? Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight and not because the he drank one too many... Cheap beers. What is that even? Oh, okay. Is he still there? How does he look? Uh, yeah, he's... I don't know. I'm, like, crouching under the counter. I can't even see what he's doing. It's fucking creepy. Hmm, okay. Well, the ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away, and that kid cannot be doing well. So I need you to go assist him. Oh, fuck that. No fucking way. No. You didn't see that little fucker. He is not normal. You know, refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? Is, is that what that is? Of course. Okay. I'll go check on him then. <laughs> Thank you. I'll stay on the line so I can hear you die. <laughs> All right. Ave Maria Santissima. <laughs> Is that the kid? <laughs> oh, man. That's a big no-no. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, it's still the same kid, though. 
So like, whatever it is, this entity is like trying really hard to be like, hey, <laughs> I'm not that guy. Threat. It's still the same kid. I can't. Oh, for a moment. It, what is this? Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. Oh. If you are accepted into. You will receive a letter on. Mar And while you're out here, why not come over to Dory Park? Admire the tall and beautiful trees all around, or watch as some of our little ones grow. Bring the kids along. They'll have a fantastic time in our new play area. Oh. There is truly no better place to make beautiful memories. Dore Park, one of the county's most lovely locations. Dore Park. <laughs> I can see his pain. I see it from my window. I see it every night. Can I choose one of these or? Oh, okay. I can hear his steps. I hear them from my window. I hear them every night. Father of many, his tears taste of sacrifice. His steps carry guilt. Why haunt this one park? Why torment my dreams nightly? Does he fear nightmares? I can see his pain. I see it from my window. I can see it's fake. I won't sleep tonight. I won't listen to the man's steps. Or I will be next. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. What? Congratulations. If you are accepted into <laughs> you will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. Oh, God. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a God, pray to them. <laughs> what? They are real. Hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however... We'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. Well. That was something. <laughs> I... I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, it was unsettling, and that's all I ever ask for when it comes to anything that is analog is just to make me feel like something is just not right, and that is the whole thing that needs to happen. I am... I'm... What are you waiting for? Wow. Um... <laughs> All right, folks, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to catch us next time. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Um, yeah, more to come. We're probably going to add another day to our upload schedule, so we'll see. I've been working on a lot of videos, so we'll probably get some more stuff out there. But regardless, thank you so much for all the support. You guys are super cool. And keep it up. I'm humbled and I am grateful. So thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you all later. Take care. Have a good one, and peace. Bye-bye.